Today I'm doing a video on transforming your boring Windows 7 desktop into an Alienware looking computer. Now, Alienware doesn't actually have a official theme for Windows 7 computers. Um, on their Windows set, on their own custom computers, which you guys can buy, um, they have a custom theme. Now, you guys can't get these on normal Windows 7 PCs. Now, a lot of people like the Alienware ID, you know, the creepy aliens from Area 51 or Bermuda Triangle or wherever they're from. So, I want to show you guys a manual version, which takes not even 10 minutes and really looks cool. By the way, guys, the intro that you guys just saw well, not too long ago, um, my old friend Six Tricks made that for me. Um, I decided to use that one today because it's kind of creepy and uh, thought it'd go well with the alien themed video. Now, getting started, guys, um, down in the file in the description below, it has four RMs in it. The two outside ones are uh, the actual theme and looking wise, the two inside are actually programs. Yes, you need programs for this to work. Um, if you guys are subscribers of mine and you have Theme Resource Changer and Universal Theme Patcher installed already, or patched, sorry, um, you guys can skip a couple minutes to the video and get to the installing part. If not, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, follow, follow what I do. Open up Theme Universal Theme Patcher, and in here you'll have a couple of different files. We'll have a um, file right here, which is basically going to explain everything I'm explaining. So if you have any questions, or if I'm talking too fast, or if you just want to double check to make sure you're doing the right thing, open that file up there, and that basically explains step by step what you have to do to patch your computer. Patching your computer is very safe, guys. Um, all it does is it tweaks a couple of files in your Windows system to allow you to have uh, themes that change more. So instead of having this boring up here, well, you guys will see at the end. To do this, guys, you're going to have to open either 64-bit or 86. Yes, it doesn't matter. Um, you have to open it depending on your architecture of your system. To find out what architecture your system is, go to the Start menu, right-click on a computer, and under System, next to System Type, it'll say 64-bit operating system. Most computers nowadays are 64-bit, which allows uh, the computer to support more than 4 gigs of RAM. If yours is 32-bit, you're going to open the x86. If yours is 64-bit, like mine, you're going to open up x64. Open one of them up, hit OK. Mine already says that I'm patched, so I'm going to click No to exit the program. For you guys, you're going to click Yes, and it's going to patch your computer. Then it's going to ask you to restart, restart, and come back to the video. Now we're, now we're done with the hardest part of this video. Open up Theme Resource Changer if you haven't installed it yet. Again, this one also has a document file explaining exactly what you have to do, but I'll also explain it to you guys. Again, guys, depending on your architecture, so I could ex just like the last one, so if you open up x64 for the last one, open up x64 for this one. If you open up x86 for the last one, open up x86 for this one. So open up your corresponding one, hit next a couple times, install it. Once that's done, you're done. I'm not going to install it because I already installed it. And it's very easy to install. Now you installed the two hardest programs, and that's the hardest part of this video. Now we get the fun part. So all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to put the theme in its necessary folder, and we're going to apply it. So open up the computer drive, or my computer, and just do this, because that's one of the great features of Windows 7. Open up your um, C drive, or your Windows drive. Um, our director C drive, if you have no idea, look for this icon or look for the one that's most necessarily full. Open it up, scroll down to Windows folder, then to resources, then to themes, open up the Concave 7 theme folder, take these two files, drag them in to the themes folder, and there you go. Um, I already did that, yes. Yeah. I already uh, dragged it in the last time, so on my last two recordings. So once you guys have applied in there, do not open it yet. Um, if you guys open it now, it will look different. It'll look pretty cool for most of you guys who have never applied a theme. Um, 
Now, just a reminder, guys, um, all those files and folders you just saw, I have a crap load of themes on my computer. That's why there's a lot of them. For you guys, you'll probably only have a couple. Now that you have that, guys, we're actually going to apply the theme by clicking on this folder right here, this file right here. It'll take about th five seconds, and then your computer will look totally different. I'm going to pause the recording so that it doesn't crash, and then apply the theme. We're back, guys. You guys should see that the computer has totally changed. As you guys can see, it has um, looked look much different. Um, you should have a little white background here, probably. So exit of everything, and then that basically allows it to refresh. And now we guys can go through and see how the theme actually looks. So we get this cool time machine. Um, well, that's what it's called, actually. Time machine Alienware wallpaper. You guys, if you guys install Theme Resource Changer, you guys will get the custom starter, custom start menu. Um, Windows Explorer navigation buttons have also been changed, and it's a really cool theme, guys. So you guys get a, also you guys also get a custom or a couple different custom icons. We got the um, home folder, computer, and network, and rest of the have been changed. So that's it. There you go, guys. It's a pretty cool custom Alienware theme. Hope you guys like it. Now, um, last little note of the video. A lot of you guys, uh, especially my other videos, are asking how do I disable these themes. You know. Um, it's actually not hard at all, guys. Um, it's all it is is a theme. So all you have to do is right click on the desktop, go to personalize, and select a different one. It's not that hard. Um, by clicking one of the default arrow themes, it'll go back to your normal Windows 7 computer. So if you find this this desktop, you already get bored of this look. All you gotta do is go back and click Windows 7 here, or a different one there, and go straight back to as if you never ever changed it. But if you like it, just leave it. So that's what it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, favorite, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can message me on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, and I'll respond to you guys as fast as I can. Or of course, you guys can leave a comment in the description below. I hope you guys like the theme. And besides that, um, have a nice day.